MGM? Well, I think that it's going fine with MGM. They seem to be, um, you know, holding up to their piece of the bargain. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we haven't quite got there on the housing piece of it, uh, but I don't think it's because they don't want to do it. I think that, um, you know, they've moved uh, some of it out of, were they going to have it in the initial building or somewhere downtown? And then they jumped over to the school department building, which was, would have been the worst place to do it. The idea of putting it over at uh, 31 Elm is probably a good idea because that's a critical building that needs to come online and be an effective piece of downtown, however we do that. But to answer your question on MGM, I think it's going fine. They're, they're, they appear to be a header on schedule. They appear to be hiring the people they said they were going to hire. Uh, they, they've poured in, I bet when they're done, they bottom line, they'll come in over a billion dollars they poured in here. Um, so I think it's going to be a positive for the city. I, I don't see how, unless they totally blow it, it's going to be a negative to the city of Springfield. When they did deviate, they did change the towers, you know, and there's an issue right. with the housing. Their argument was, well, there's going to be changes in a big project. The argument from the critics and a lot of more people who didn't want empty in the first place, mm. we told you so. Now that they're in, they're changing the plans. It, was your confidence, you sound very confident in their motives now. Was your confidence at all shaken a bit by the fact that they did make some, some significant changes after the vote? They made changes, but they had to get approval from the city council to make those changes. We could have said, no, you've got to build the tower. And the question at the time was, or the rationale, do we, do we, they presented evidence, of course, um, that showed the economics of it. And so, at least in my, do we do something that is going to be detrimental that affects the long-term success of this project? Or do we buy into this argument because at least they're here, they're committed, they're still pouring a lot of money into the city? Um, so any changes going down the road still have to be approved. Um, and we have an agreement that we can hold them to. Um, so I, I'm confident that we'll hold them to those, or at least I hope the city holds them to those terms. Um, and, and, and if we can get that, what I'm after is that mid-sized convention business that's going to come in here. 